Welcome to Rehash. On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what happens today. My name is Dissectra. And you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to the Sectra who provided our intro. Some of you may remember he became our honorary um, spotlight person previously, but uh, he provided us an intro, so we're going to cover him because he's next on the list. Yeah. All right, so today we've got some really interesting stories to talk with you about. In fact, one of the biggest upsets of my late teen and adult life is happening right now. Logitech, or Logitech, depending on how you pronounce it, is changing their name to just Logit or Logit instead of Logitech because tech is everywhere, or so they say. Uh, yeah, and then you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about possibly the weirdest game trailer to ever exist called Do the Donut Roll. Oddly enough, I have another donut related story. All right. Ariana Grande is currently being investigated in a donut licking scandal. <laughs> In news that made my inner child want to cry, uh, Logitech, or Logitech, depending on how you pronounce it, is changing their name to keep up with the times. Though I'm not entirely sure that it's for the best. They're changing their name from Logitech to just Logit. Right, I mean, I, I do agree, like, I, I think as a company that everybody knows by Logitech or Logitech, for them to change the name to just Logic or Logit, whatever it may be, I, I don't know. I don't like Neither do I. I mean, I'm all for short and succinct names, but I mean, that would be almost like Oreos changing their name at this yeah. point. They're so embedded in everything. The first webcam I ever owned was, was a Logitech yeah. webcam. Yeah. Um, the, many of my mice and keyboards over the years have been Logitech. Yeah. Um, I, I, let us know in the comment section down below how you feel about this. It seems when. When I first heard about this, I'm like, oh, it's so minor. But the more I sat on it, the more I thought about it, the stupider it sounded as a business decision for them to do. Yeah, I think you should evolve the products, not really the actual name of the, the company. Exactly. A keyboard by any other name would be just as cheap <laughs> of a keyboard. And then you want to talk about? The weirdest game trailer of all time. Of all time. Okay, tell so, us about So this. I wanted to talk about Goat on a Bridge. It's a Steam game that you guys can play, and apparently it's a game that you play with your friends. And let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. There are goats, and they're on a bridge! Yes, exactly! And, okay. and the objective is to gather coins and to not fall in the water. It, it's... But, but the, the thing that it is, like, the game's probably pretty fun, but the trailer is so weird. It, it's... Cringeworthy. Is it weirder than yesterday's episode where we talked about the, the J pop lady yeah. baby thing? Yeah. It's yeah, weirder no. than that. It's weirder than that. Okay. So, what is it? Is it just like, are, are they, are, are, is the goat eating small children? No, he's not eating small children. But again, look, the, the whole focus of the actual trailer itself is you have a bridge, and it's not just a straight bridge. It, like, it goes in different directions, and your objective is to actually stay on the bridge and not fall in the water. Periodically, you'll come across food that you eat for power-ups, or you'll pick up coins to you know, gather more score, and your objective is to beat your friend. But like, the game itself is probably pretty cool, but the trailer is just so weird. Okay. It's just mind-boggling. It's truth-worthy. So, what does that have to do with donuts? Because you said something about donuts. It says do the donut rule. For whatever reason, it's the title of the video. I have no idea how it even affiliates with the, the game itself. I think they should call it Goats on a Bridge, new Steam game or something like that. That way they can promote their game, not a do the Interesting. donut Interesting. So, this has nothing to do with donut rolls, but it has to do with donuts. Ariana Grande is currently under investigation for allegedly going into a donut shop and licking the donuts. Now there is footage of this. Really? <laughs> there is footage yeah. of a woman, potentially Ariana Grande, who uh, who licked a bunch of donuts we, we've and then turned to her friend. Now, now here's the kicker. Turned yeah. to her friend and said, I hate America. Are you serious? Yeah, and then, and then she, I guess, leaves the store. Uh, and there was uh, there was a uh, there was a, an interview done by this news source, which we will link down below, where they went in and talked to the employees. The employees said that she was very rude, and that she did not, in fact, buy the donuts. Well, the thing about it is, like we've seen some crazy stories. Let's just like JB urinating in in, in in random places. We we've heard crazy stories from celebrities, but like licking donuts, I've never heard of a donut licker. Like I've just I've never heard that. Actually. 
I'm gonna laugh if we find out this is not the first time. Oh, Jesus. And she becomes a cereal donut licker. <laughs> like she does it again. That sounds like a dirty thing. <laughs> Moving on! Let's Comment go. number one comes from Desectra, who says that Code Boss Gaming shall not take his place. And then ends it with a little JK and a smiley face, or a winky face, if you will. <laughs> And then XX Code Boss replies, oh? 1v1 me! Oh, fight, 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 Let's fight! <laughs> Comment number two comes from Blue Lights 2468. Pretty cool name nonetheless. He says, What is that furry hedgehog thing in between the two YouTube bottles? Hashtag rehash. Um, well, that's actually Guy Fieri's spare toupee. We, we keep it for him just in case. Yeah, just in case he may need it. He'll stop by and pick it up. Exactly. Yep. Comment number three comes from SurferYT, who says, Why do so many people like freedom? Ow. Um, now, yes, you, know, you could take that as, a, as something that kind of hurts, it hurt but it's saved by... XX Code Boss. We gotta stop mentioning this dude. Yeah, but he's so active. You I know, know right? It. But he says because of Anthony and Zach. Now that, that mended my heart. That, that mended yeah. my broken heart. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, that we're done with the comment section, we get to move on about. to <laughs> no the partners. <laughs> As I said previously, Desectra has been uh, spotlighted here before, but in an honorary sense. But to make it official, Desectra, today is your day. We're going to be talking about your channel. Now, you do a lot of Battlefield 4. Your thumbnails have gotten a lot better since I met yes. you about a year ago, it seems. If, if it hasn't exactly been a year, it's darn close! Well, it's, the quality of this content has also got a lot better. I know, like, I'm nothing against Desectra, but I noticed, a, like, I, I think it was a year ago when I watched the guy's videos, they were okay. Hmm. But I, it wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta see more videos. But like, now that I've actually revisited his channel about a year later, the thumbnails are improved, his views have drastically went through the roof, he, he's building a community of foundation, he's doing like, everything right. He's, yes, he's, he's got it on lockdown. Yeah. Um, now I would like to see a little bit more teaser text in his videos. Now the teaser text when, uh, before you actually open up a video, you can usually see one to three lines worth of text. Yeah. And currently he's uh, got, um, can we reach X amount of likes and then a subscribe link, which isn't necessarily a horrible way to do things if you're an already established channel. Um, I would like to see if he does have a hook, if he does have something interesting to tease for that to be there. Um, not necessarily all the time, but I would like to see it from time to time. Um, because right now, it, when you look at just the videos page, it just looks... It, there's not much to differentiate besides the thumbnail, which the thumbnail is awesome, yeah. don't get me wrong. But not only that though, I mean, when you upload a video, you gotta think that unless it's super unique, you're competing with possibly thousands of other YouTube content mm -hmm. creators. So you, you gotta find all sorts of ways to set yourself aside from the community, be it the thumbnails, the titles, the descriptions, the voice, or, or, or what have you. So Today's, descriptions. Today yeah. is Friday. Yeah. Okay. Desectra, I'm sorry to cut your segment short, but you did, in fact, say you wanted shorter episodes, and I, it's for a good cause. Yeah. Today is Friday. It's during the summer. A lot of people are on summer holiday right now, which means that a lot of people have a little bit of extra time on their hands. Um, there are a lot of people in the Freedom community who are doing things for child's play right now. I would invite each and every person who's doing anything for Child's Play to link the information about it, either an announcement video, a link to your stream, whatever the case may be, down below so we can all come together as a family and help support this. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry for putting this so far at the end of the video, but I'll be honest, I almost forgot to mention this. So please do that, and if we have enough of a support for it, we will do a special episode specifically on Child's Play. All right. Well, anyways, that brings us to the end, right? Yes. All right. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.